So here are a couple problems relating to uh, the simple harmonic motion of springs and pendulums. Okay, the first problem says um, a particular cuckoo clock uh, keeps time by having a mouse, uh, a mass bouncing on a spring. Um, suggests a cherub in a chair. All right, so we have a uh, spring and a mass on the spring. All right, so it asks what force constant is needed to produce um, motion with a period. So that's a uh, t of 0.5 uh, seconds for a mass that is 0 uh, 0.0150 kilograms. Uh, so it asks for a force constant. What this is meaning is the spring constant, K. So the question is, what is K that results in a simple harmonic motion with this period um, given this mass? Okay, so we need to relate um, period to uh, mass and spring constant. So uh, if we remember, the equation that does that is uh, t equals 2 pi times the square root of m over k. All right, so let's do a little algebra and uh, solve for the k here. So um, I can divide by 2 pi and uh, square both sides. So I've got a 2 pi sorry, a t over 2 pi squared equals m over k. All right, and then I solve for k. So then k equals uh, m times uh, the reciprocal of this, so it's 2 pi over t squared. Okay, so uh, we can argue to ourselves for a second that this makes sense uh, unit-wise. Here I have kilograms and uh, per second squared. All right, and uh, you may be scratching your head and saying, well, a spring constant I know is newtons per meter. Um, but remember that a newton is a kilogram meter per second squared. So a newton per meter, if I take that meter out, is just a kilogram per second squared, which is exactly what this is, right? A kilogram per second squared. Uh, so we're golden. Okay, so now I just need to plug in some numbers. Um, the mass here was... 0.015 kilograms times 2 pi over half a second. And when you do that, what you get is uh, 2.37 newtons per meter, or kilograms per second squared. So this means if, um, if your cuckoo clock, um, the spring broke, right, or it stretches too far, um, and you're shopping for a replacement, this is the spring constant you should be looking for. Right, because if you use a spring with a different spring constant, um, it won't keep the same time, and your clock will run fast or run slow. Um, so the second part of the question is just asking what is the energy of the oscillator if you have an amplitude of two centimeters. So for a mass on a spring, the total energy can be found in a couple different ways. One of them is um, one half m. V max squared, right? That's the maximum kinetic energy. And the other is one half K times X max squared. Right? That's the maximum uh, potential uh, energy, right? that's spring potential. So we don't have V max. Um, so uh, it's probably uh, more straightforward to use the K X max because K we just found and X max was given, it's this two centimeters. All right, so let's do that. Um, so that's one half k was this 2.37, and x max is two centimeters. I'm going to convert that to SI units, so 0 0.02 meters squared. And when you do that math, you get 4.74 times 10 to the minus 4 joules. All right, which is fairly small, but this is a 15 gram cherub bouncing up and down uh, two centimeters. Right? So there's not a lot of energy there. We don't expect it to have a lot of energy. So the second problem here uh, says that we have a, uh, a pendulum with a period of two seconds, and it's very two, right? Two followed by five zeros, in one location, right? Um, where g is exactly 9.80. 
and then it's moved to a new location and it has a new period of uh, 1.99796 seconds. So very close to 2, but not exactly 2. Uh, the question is, what is the acceleration due to gravity in the new location? Uh, so let's write these down. Um, let's call it maybe T1 is 2 with 5 zeros uh, seconds. G1 in that location is 9.80 meters per second squared. T2 is 1.99796 seconds. And G2 is what we're solving for. All right, so um, the thing that is not changing here is the, the pendulum itself, the length of the pendulum um, remains the same. All right, so how can we relate um, the period and the um, length and g uh, for a pendulum? Well, the equation is uh, this. Uh, period equals 2 pi times the square root of L over g. All right. So we can write this equation for each of these. I can say T1, G1, and T2, G2, and L is what remains the same. So it's going to be convenient here to solve this for the length. All right, so I'm going to solve this for the length. I'm just going to divide by 2 pi and square both sides. So that's T over 2 pi squared equals L over G. And now I can solve for L um, in a very similar fashion to the previous problem. Um, L equals G times uh, T uh, over 2 pi and the squares on the outside. So, uh, yeah, G times uh, T over 2 pi squared. Okay, at this point, I could solve a length. I could find a number for the length. All right, and then use that number with... Uh, I have to use 1, right? So I have uh, G1 and T1 to find a length, and then use T2 to find a G. Um, but instead, I'm going to say uh, length equals length, right? And in doing so, what I'm going to say is that G, I'll write it up here, G1, T1 over 2 pi squared equals G2, T2 over 2 pi squared, right? So I'm just saying length. Uh, calculated using um, the first set of variables equals length calculated using the second set. Now what I'm interested in is G2, so I'll solve this for G2. Alright, so G2 equals G1. Um, I'm going to divide T2 squared over, and I've got a 2 pi squared on each side, so that actually can go away. Alright, so what I end up with is T1 over T2 squared. All right, so now I can just plug in some numbers. Um, G1 is 9.80 meters per second squared. And uh, T1 is 2, a bunch of zeros. Uh, T2 is 1.9976. Uh, and I square that. And what you come up with is 9.82 meters per second squared. So it looks like in location 2, um, the acceleration due to gravity is just a little higher, which just means maybe your elevation is a little lower or the um, uh, composition of the Earth uh, at that region is just a little different, or maybe the latitude or the shape of the Earth around there is a little different. Um, it's not uncommon for G to vary like this from location to location.